In this video, I'm going to take a look at how you can set the position of a Python turtle screen within a computer monitor. We considered this computer program in the last video, and quickly going over it again here, we import the turtle module to use its features. This creates an instance of the screen class. This sets that instance to a background color of yellow, and this will set up the size of the turtle screen to a width of 550 and a height of 330. If we consider this as the monitor, when the program shown here executes, what you're going to see on the monitor is this. You're going to see the yellow turtle screen that's got a width of 550 and a height of 330. And if you look at the position of that screen, you can see it's in the middle of the monitor. I have amended the program we've just considered by the addition of these two arguments here where I'm setting start x to 0 and start y to 0. Now when this program runs and we consider the monitor, what we're going to get is a yellow turtle screen that's 550 by 330, but its position will not be in the center of the monitor because of these two arguments here. So let's see where the yellow turtle screen will be placed and you can see it is placed here. Consider the arrow that's moving now, and as it's moving, it's moving in the x direction, and what it's pointing to is moving further along the x axis. So when it's here, that's where x is a zero. And when it's here, x is bigger than a zero, and when it's here, it'll be bigger again. Now consider the arrow, and you can see it's moving down the y axis. When it is here, that's where y is 0, and when it's here, y is bigger, and when it's here, y is bigger again. So if we go to these two arguments now, when we have start x is 0, that is this position here, and start y is 0, is this position here. When we use this argument, start x, and we decide where it's going to be, what we're really doing, we're positioning this edge of the turtle screen. Of course, for this example, as I've made start x equal to 0, then this edge is at the position where x is 0 on the x-axis. When we consider this argument, start y, we're really referring to the position that this edge is on the monitor, and we can see it is at 0. And of course, this edge is at position 0 on the y Axis. Let's now consider this computer program, and I've made another amendment as shown here. On this occasion, I'm making start x equal to 100. So if we now consider the monitor and look where the turtle screen is placed, it is placed here. Now that's because this edge has been placed at 100. So in other words, we've come along the x-axis in this direction to 100, and that's where the edge of the turtle window appears. Of course, if we consider this edge and we come here, we can see that start y is 0, so this edge is where y is 0, because we can see that this edge has not gone down the y-axis. We are at position 0 on the y-axis. I've made another amendment to the program, and you can see I've put start x back to 0, and I've made start y equal to 100. So if I consider the monitor now and where we will see the Python turtle screen, we will see it here. And you can see that this edge has been moved back to where start x is 0, and this edge here is in that position because I've made start y equal to 100. So we've come down the y-axis 100 to this position, so this edge is at that position on the y-axis, i.e. the 100 that you can see assigned here. Here. I've amended the program again, and if you look here, you can see both start x and start y have been made equal to 100. So if I consider the monitor and now look at the position of the yellow turtle screen, you can see where it appears. Now that's because if I consider this edge here, that's been defined by this start x value 100, meaning that we've come along the x axis 100 to give us the edge in this position. Now this edge of the turtle window has been defined by this, start y equals 100, which means that we've come down the y-axis 100 to where 
we then place this edge so you can see that the turtle window now has been moved 100 along the x and the y axis so these edges both appear at their respective x and y coordinate positions which in this case is when we move them to the position of x100 and y100 this program shows yet another amendment to the code and you can see the amendment appears here where i've made start x equal to minus 100 now i'll say that again it's minus 100 so far we've looked at the values for start x and start y as being either zero or positive values but now we can see we have a negative value here let's therefore look at the monitor and see where the turtle screen appears and you can see it appears here and this edge is where you would expect it to be because i've set start y to zero whereas here you can see start x has been made equal to minus 100 what we now have to take into account is this that the position of the turtle window when we have a negative value as this minus 100 gives us we use this edge and we start here and we move back 100 to this position so you you can see that this edge is in position minus 100 which means it goes to the value of x here whatever that may be and that will be depending on the resolution of your monitor but it comes back 100 to this position looking at negative values again here you can see start x has been put back to a zero but here start y has been made equal to minus 100 so let's look to the monitor again and consider where the turtle screen appears and you can see it appears here now this edge has been set by this where start x is made equal to zero so we haven't gone along the x-axis at all for this edge but here where we've made start y equal to minus 100 we have to realize when there is a negative value like this we now turn our attention to this edge and this edge is 100 up from this position so we start here at whatever y is and that will depend on the resolution of your monitor but whatever that is it doesn't really matter because what we're saying is whatever that is we come up in this direction 100 and we place this edge at that y position when we come from here up 100 and you can see that is achieved by having start y equal to negative 100 now finally i'll look at this computer program here and if you look at the arguments you can see i've made them both minus 100 so if we look to the monitor again and consider where we're going to find the turtle screen it will appear here and we can see that this edge has been defined by this because we've moved from here along the x-axis in the negative direction to this position so this edge has been defined by start x equal to minus 100 and if we consider this edge that's been fixed by the fact that this is minus 100 and we've come from here on the y-axis up to this position because that is 100 up from here so when start x has been assigned a positive value we look at this edge and we see how far we have moved along the x-axis in this direction to place this edge when start x is given a negative value we are now referring to this edge and we see how far we've moved along the x-axis in this direction in order to decide where this will be placed on the monitor when start y is positive we refer to this edge and we see where that is positioned by coming down the y-axis in this direction when start y is negative we consider this edge and we see how far we come along the y-axis in this direction from the bottom of the monitor check out the supporting website for these videos in addition why not follow me on twitter as i issue a tweet every time i upload a new video